Hey YouTube, just wanted to show off my design for uh, an air layer. Um, this requires two water bottles, and what you do is you cut the top off of one, then you cut the bottom off of another. Then what I did is I took the one that I cut the bottom off of and slid it down the side, all the way up to the cap so that one whole side of it could be expandable and could open and then enclose around the tree. And then what you would do with the top is also do the same thing where you would cut it across the side then you slip it around the branch and tape it on. And what this does is this just holds in the moisture and it also prevents rain from filling it up with water because you don't want to overwater your air layer obviously. So what I did is um this is the top of the bottle that was cut off at the bottom. So right here is where a cap would normally would be and it's facing downward. What this does is provides a little bit of drainage and um, you know, it just helps. And I just use duct tape, you know, and I use peat moss for the filling. It's just a pretty simple design and you can the thing that's convenient about it is if this dries out, which a lot of times air layers do, they have a tendency to do, is you just peel off this tape right here and you lift that cap. And then you can pour in water or you can fertilize, whatever it is you need to do, you can do it because this makes it easy. So yeah, and hopefully um, three months or so we'll see some roots in here. And I'm also testing an experiment because um, I've heard that some people can use honey as a rooting hormone. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but we'll see. I've, I really have no experience with honey or rooting hormone, so this will be a good test. This is a red swamp maple tree, and hopefully we get this to take.